Hi, in this video we're going to work with a demonstration of queues in the collection classes for Java. So I'm going to create a project and you can follow along. Let's go to Java project and we'll call this thing play queue. And inside of the new project we're going to create a class and we'll provide it with a main method. So I'm going to create a queue called customers in line. So you're going to notice something strange here that I am going to use the word queue but it implements a linked list. So a linked list is a interface and Q implements all the methods of the interface. Okay, I'm gonna add myself to the line. So let's say customers in line are going to be added and there's my name. So I'm first. So I'm gonna add another person and let's name him nobody special. Instead of using add, I'm going to use another term called offer. Add and offer do the same thing. And then you ask, why do we have two methods that do the same thing? I'm glad you asked. So I did a Google search and found a Stack Overflow that has this exact same question. Let's see what it says. The answer says, add comes from collection, offer comes from queue. What's the difference? Because you might have a capacity constrained queue. That means you set the limit on how long the queue can be. And so offer will allow the uh, program to keep running even though there's no room in the queue. If the queue is full, it'll just return false. However, if you use add and you have no room in your queue, it says it'll throw an exception, which means your program might crash. So add and offer are slightly different. In our case here, they shouldn't work any different one from the other. So I'm going to create some more people and put them in line. So let's put in Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, and Jeff Bezos. Now, if you were standing in line, would you let those guys go first or would you take your own spot? So let's, uh, let's try to print this out and see what results we get. And so here we go, we got the list and you notice it uses the square brackets to indicate that we're talking about like an array, a list, a collection. So we have a method that we can check the size of the queue. So I'm going to do customers in line dot size. And you can see that I have five items in the queue. So there's another method that we can use called peak. And peak will look at the first element in the queue. When we run it, we should see that my name is there. So now let's make a command that says first person out of the restaurant is going to be the first person removed from the line. And so let's print out and see who that was. And so we run it and we find out that sure enough, the first guy in line was me and he's no longer in line. So let's uh, print the list and its size again. So I'll copy and paste some previous code and let's see what we get now. And so you can see that nobody special is now first in line and there's only four people left in line. All right, so I've demonstrated here with a string queue. I'd like you to create another demo with the same idea using integers and then finally uh, use the iterator method and a while loop to print each method or each item in the, in the uh, queue on its own line. So that's a challenge for you. And so there we go. Uh, a good lesson on how queues are designed.